Hey guys, doing this evening? So, I drove up to Smith Mountain Lake, Virginia today to meet with a client of mine uh, that does law enforcement and military. And we got to talk about firearms and gear for a second. And uh, I discussed the Stock Sock by Blue Alpha Gear. And uh, first thing out of his mouth, after I explained it for like a brief second was, hey, send me that. I said, right on, I will. My way back, I'm like, let me just make a review of the stock sock. I mean, it's simple, it's to the point, but you know, if you're curious about um, the fundamental idea of what it is, I have two of them now. Um, so the first one I got, I installed on my Daniel Defense DDM4V9. Um, you see it on both sides here. Um, I like the fundamental idea of it. Um, I typically always ran tourniquets with a rubber band right on the side of my stock. And um, the way they have it advertised, I saw tourniquets, uh, I saw chem lights, um, I've seen other guys throw like other odds and ends in it, whatever's going to work for you. Everybody's a little different. Um, and realistically, if it doesn't have a practical purpose, it's a sock that looks cool. You know, let's be honest with each other. Um, you can get it in different colors. Um, you can get them in black, black multi-cam, gray, multi-cam, um, FDE. I mean, they come in a variety of different colors that's going to work for you. Um, I kind of have the whole multi-cam theme going on, so that's kind of what I'm sticking with. Um, so I put it on this stock originally, um, I don't know, probably about four to six weeks ago. And uh, I fundamentally really enjoy the idea of how it operates, how it functions the whole night. Um, I currently don't have anything on this one because I stripped it out to give you a good idea of what it looks like on the firearm itself. Um, come to find out, after putting this on a pistol brace as well, they all function a little differently. Um, so here on the Daniel Defense stock, I can operate the stock itself easily because the, the slide latch is right there in the front. Uh, they do allow a side um, pocket here in the center to allow you to put a sling through or use your QD attachments for the sling so this doesn't interfere with the sling attachments itself. Um, but if we jump over to We jump over to the Mark 18 here, where I put it on my pistol brace here. Um, it fundamentally does a very good job. Um, because of brace life as well, I can pull these tabs out that I tucked out, unzip this. You could definitely still stick your entire arm through here and run it like the brace is designed to do. Um, when it comes to sliding this stock or this brace, forward and aft, it's extremely difficult to kind of reach your fingers inside and figure out where you want it. Um, so I typically carry this um, with the brace collapsed in a bag. So how I'm gonna run this sock for right now is I'm leaving the brace where I typically like to use it. Um, so I don't have to worry about moving it in and out um, and seeing how it works out. Um, but I fundamentally like the idea of it I'm currently running a tourniquet on it. I'm running my red Sharpie on the side there. Um, am I gonna throw a chem light in here too? I don't know. Um, but it's nice just to grab on the go and have easily accessible to you at all times. Um, I don't know, maybe you're gonna put, um, maybe, maybe an extra battery with the battery pack or something somewhere on the back here. Um, I mean, I run an extra battery and a, an extra firing pin in the stock. Um, but at the end of the day, it just kind of looks cool. You know, I'm very impressed with it. Um, it doesn't interfere with your, uh, your cheek well or anything else. Um, it's very easy to install. Um, let me pull up the other one here. So when it comes to installing this, the first thing you're doing is this whole canvas is just going to come by itself. It comes with three bungees. 
Uh, the first thing you're going to do is you're just going to route these bungee cables the way you want to and you're just tying a knot in the back. Um, I'll show some pictures. Maybe. Yeah, I could show a couple pictures to show you how they're knotted without fully taking everything apart. Um, and then when you're done with this side, we're going to grab another bungee. You're going to do this side. Customize it. Play with it. Figure out what you're going to put in there first. So this side, I never thought about that. I was just like, I'll make a skinny one for a pen. Maybe another skinny one for like some type of punch. Alright, so I'll make a thick one. You know, this was me playing around. I'll probably get additional bungees and do this one again. Um, and then... On this side, on my second go around, I said, well, I'm definitely gonna throw the tourniquet on there, so let me throw that in there. Let me figure out what's gonna work best for that. Uh, maybe the marker, and I just threw a couple couple more in different variety of locations that I may utilize. Uh, if I wanna throw something on there quickly, um, or things that I have access to go into something I can quickly access um, while I'm in there, uh, whatever. Um, so after you install those two pieces, uh, then you're pretty much just gonna tie this up like a shoelace. Uh, let's get in there, maybe you can see it there. Uh, you're just gonna tie this up like a shoelace, and then you're gonna have your little plastic piece that extend, uh, extends and tightens up from the bungee piece itself. Um, but overall, I'm, I'm very impressed with the idea of what this is. Um, and even if you get it and you choose you're not using it as much as you thought you would, it adds a little bit of character to your firearm. You know, it looks pretty cool. Um, so this one I actually got from the Blue Alpha website. Then I want to say maybe, I want to say maybe a week and a half ago, I saw that the Warrior Poet Society uh, was advertising them. And I'm like, oh cool, because I pay attention to John and I pay attention to that whole society. Uh, if you haven't checked them out, I, I recommend you check them out. Um, I like everything they stand for, I like everything they say. Uh, they're very entertaining. Um, and they got a lot of good content on there. Um, so if you go to the Warrior Poet Society's website, um, they are now selling these off of the website. Uh, the only real difference is there's a little War Poet logo right here. I mean, it's very difficult to see. It's no big deal. Um, but I prefer to support uh, the Poet Society while supporting Blue Alpha versus just supporting Blue Alpha, Blue Alpha themselves. Um, but I'll go ahead and attach a link down below to these stock socks. You know, I recommend maybe you should check these guys out. Um, at the end of the day, if you're running rubber bands with a bunch of gear somewhere on your firearm for quick access, this will do the trick, you know, and this adds a little character to your firearm. Um, other than that, thanks for tuning in, guys. Like, share, subscribe, whatever you want to do, um, and I'll see you next time.